Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for Lost Moss where everything philosophical is discussed. Now today, the title of this lesson that I want to give today is called Always Be Vigilant. You know, um, right now I don't know if you can tell like with my voice I've actually got a bit of a flu and it's actually linked to the, the title in some way shape or form in terms of being vigilant. And what do I mean being vigilant? It's something that I learned a lot actually last night and just growing in my awareness and my experiences. It's something that's a repetitive theme. It's something that like I'm understanding with more depth with time. And the concept of being vigilant means being aware and constantly alert in all aspects in your life now a lot of times we get distracted a lot of times we enter situations whatever the situation may be let's just say you're going into work with a very fuzzy mind or you go into uh your car well feeling distracted or having uh, thoughts that are distracting you, you're not paying attention to your environment. Uh, I'm talking about like when you see the signs that a person that you have a, a relationship with, whether it be friendship or an intimate relationship, and you see the signs that this person is actually not the one for you, but you don't really pay attention to it, you're not vigilant. Hey, so. Vigilance is something that needs to be encapsulated into every aspect in your life. I'm talking spiritually, I'm talking emotionally, I'm talking mentally, I'm talking physically. All the time, even with your body, as I said, physically. Like, if you notice certain um, patterns within your body, if let's just say you eat a certain food and you feel a certain way then pay attention to that pattern, be vigilant, be aware, so that you know that if I eat this kind of food, this is what it does to my body, I feel better or I feel worse. But if you don't have a vigilant eye, then all these things will bypass your consciousness. And then sooner or later, you get uh, faced with an illness, exactly right now. Like, I'm sick right now because I definitely feel that there are, there's an aspect in my life which I've pinpointed that I was not being vigilant with. And just because you're dealing with something, just because you see something, doesn't mean you really like see it with your third eye, which is the eye of understanding. You know, you don't really see it. You're, 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 you're just looking at it from the surface, but you're not looking at it from the bigger picture. So being vigilant gets you to see the intricacies of the things that you deal with within your life. So last night, actually, like, um, I almost got into a situation where I was almost scammed, you know, like, um, and m my friend just told me this, like, he, he looked me dead in the eyes, like, you know, in this world, uh, like, there is the enemy, and I know exactly what he means by that, um, he just said, the enemy is always looking to diminish your light. So, because you are a being of light, the enemy will always look for ways to diminish that light, to take away from that light. So, you must always be vigilant. You must always have a barrier so that in any situation that could possibly happen because nine times out of ten we don't expect bad things to happen they usually happen when we're not necessarily paying attention okay then those crucial seconds that you're not being vigilant that something can happen that can change the course of your life so in order to avoid these things in order to see them coming you need to be continuously vigilant. And you cannot be vigilant if you're living in your mind, if you're living in your thoughts, if you're replaying scenarios from the past or trying to look for new scenarios in the future that are going to bring you more anxiety and you're just 
continuously playing with your imagination and you're not looking at what is going on right in front of you. And that is where it gets dangerous. Because when you're not paying attention to your immediate environment, there are eyes that can see this. And I don't just mean people. I mean people, yes. But there are eyes that can see this. I, I mean other beings that... I don't even want to get into a discussion right now as to what these beings are, or the angels, demons, spirits, whatever you want to call them. Just other beings that are watching and see that you are not vigilant at that moment. And at that moment, that's when things can happen. That's when tragedy can slip right beneath you. Like, you won't even see it coming. But when you have a vigilant eye... You see the world as it is. When you have a vigilant eye, then you can track, you can literally trace back into your thoughts as to which thought, which specific thought is robbing you of your happiness. Which specific thought created a chain of thoughts that is now taking away from your happiness. You can literally track it and identify it and locate it because you're being vigilant you are seeing being vigilant means that you are continuously observing your emotions you are vigilant as to how you feel you are aware as to how you feel you're aware of the <clears throat> state of being that you carry at every single moment because